Norman Rockwell became a household American name beginning with this illustration on the cover of the Saturday Evening Post, once the country's most widely read publication. For nearly half a century, more than 300 of those covers charmed readers. Now they draw crowds to the museum built where Rockwell worked for much of his career in rural Massachusetts. I just think he was amazing how many he did and how each one is detailed and captures the spirit and captures the feeling. Feeling the essence of life's small but telling moments. And I think he felt that maybe what people weren't noticing were uh, the profound things that happen in everyday life. During World War II, neighbors come to the home of Norman Rockwell to pose for posters for the second war bond drive. His four oil works, inspired by President Franklin Roosevelt's call to protect universal human freedoms of speech and worship and freedom from want and fear, helped the government raise millions of dollars. But it wasn't until Rockwell broke free of the Post and its commercial constraints that he began to deal squarely with America's political and social struggles. This 1960s painting is entitled The Problem We All Live With. It shows the first black child to integrate a New Orleans school protected by federal marshals against a backdrop of vicious racial graffiti. This drawing, also published in a mass market magazine, depicts three civil rights campaigners who were murdered in Mississippi. He was really able to express um, the ideals that, that he felt um, very firmly, and that had to do with the equality of all people and um, the rights of all people. During his lifetime, Rockwell never won the acclaim of the fine art world, but one of his best-known works, Saying Grace, drew $46 million at auction a few years ago. And Rockwell has a prime place in the art collections of film icons Steven Spielberg and George Lucas. Like them, Rockwell told stories that have both delighted and inspired millions. The aspect of humanity that he was bringing forward is something that we really need in the world right now. Uh, and something that we are longing for, you know, that connectedness between people no matter who they are. Art that peace seekers still admire for envisioning their noblest hopes. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera, Stockbridge, Massachusetts.